Scanning all negatives point is preserve your old photo film negatives effectively for the future. For to buy a DVD meter. Although very few people still utilize negatives to develop images and photos, there are others that scan these film negatives to obtain clear images or pictures and prefer this option of scanning negatives as compared to scanning the actual images. Going back into the world of 35mm films, when they are developed into prints, a part of this developing process generates film negatives. The small strips in reality possess the exact and precise images that were brought into existence when you snapped a photo with your film camera. Thus, why not preserve your old photos or pictures by scanning these film negatives that would produce better quality images for your digitizing exercise? You can also keep these scanned images for a long time period, and having the best quality pictures would make your collection all the more complete. If I actually have the opportunity to scan a negative and compare it to the result of scanning the image of photo print, you will realize that the clarity and details that you would find from scanning of the negative to be better and clearer. Scanning for the print is actually creating a third tire class photo, which means that the image has gone through two different levels prior to that. Those who have lost a certain amount of information with each level you want to go through. Thus, the ideal method of to obtain a high quality duplicate of the image that you want to replicate is by scanning film negatives themselves. Many scanners that are available today allow the actual scanning to find mm negatives in addition to film slides and full of prints. It's not difficult to use these scanners as they allow you to scan film negatives easily and without more hassle. Nevertheless, one must be careful with the types of scanner that is opting. Usually, the cheaper scanner do compromise a little on quality. If you are looking at scanning negatives regularly, you might want to consider purchasing a scanner that's specific for negative scanning. And before you start your scanning process, you need to clean your negatives with a soft, lint-free cloth so that there are no dust or particles on your negatives before you scan them. The amount of preparation that you put in the wood directly impacts the quality of the image that you produce. Thus, make sure that you keep your negatives in the cleanest possible condition before you scan them. If you do not have to worry about damaging your negatives when you scan them, as the scanning light passes through them very quickly and you will not cause harm to them. Preserve your old negatives well and scan them effectively with the above mentioned tips. If you're looking for the best photo scanner and best like a negative scanner to scan and digitize photos, likes and negatives, visit scannerreviewsinfo.com. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.